Hello everyone, my name is Jaxardel and today I'm doing something slightly different. Today I'll be installing Homebrew on my 3DS using only my Android phone. Yep, that's right, no Windows PC, only my phone. By the way, this video isn't a tutorial, so if you want to install Homebrew on your 3DS, click the I in the top right hand corner now. Shouting out our channel supporters, we have Alexander One, Boxfish, Christian, The Gamer SK, Richard Smith, North At, Robocop, Codex, Chuck Smith, and Extreme Boy Plays XDDD. So a huge shout out and thank you to them. If you try this speedrun, let me know in the comments and post your time on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. But now, here's my Android phone speedrun for 3DS. I'm not sure what to call it, but here we go. Okay, so here we are at the first ever speedrun on this channel. Do people do homebrew speedruns? Well, I've got no idea, I've never heard of it, but here we are. If this is the first, then that's awesome. We're going to be installing homebrew on this 3DS using everything here, and only this stuff here, apart from the internet, which, I mean, that counts too. So we've got an SD card reader. This accepts the micro SD card and a full-sized SD card. You plug it into a USB slot, so you might be asking, how can I plug that into there? Which is why you have this adapter. Both of these are from Anchor. What you do is you plug this into here, then that into there. That gives you a full-sized USB out, or USB in and out, doesn't matter. And also got a screwdriver, of course, because this 3DS has the annoying screws on the back, which you have to remove to get the SD card out, which is so annoying, isn't it? This will be the countdown as soon as I put this bit into the, the screwdriver handle thing. That's where we're going to start, okay? So, three. Okay, get timer on screen. We've got the timer. All right. Starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, so first of all, we need to get the, the firmware version of the 3DS. So let's get firmware version. I'll get stylus out. Firmware version is... Get a picture of that. There we go. Let's close that. Next step is to open the eShop. Nintendo eShop on the 3DS so we can get the Subwars game. The game's called Steel Diver Subwars. And we use this game to get access to Homebrew. But first we have to modify the save data, which is what we're going to do after. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the game, launch the game and create save data. Then we'll overwrite save data with modified save data. The switch eShop is way faster than this. So okay, we're going to type in Subwars. Sub Wars. There we go. Hit OK. We're going to look for the old Sub Wars, not this one. This one is update data. We're going to find Sub Wars. And we're going to grab Sub Wars from the eShop. Here it is. Re download. This game is free, by the way. It just says re download because I've had it before. The game is free. It's a, it's a demo, actually. The demo of Sub Wars. Okay, so we've got Sub Wars. Let's open the phone now and grab the files we need. I'll use the S Pen on my phone. Okay, here we are. Now, this, the screen on this phone might look all wavy, but that's just because the, the camera does that for some reason. I don't know why, but I have a special setting on the camera which makes the, the blur go away, but then it affects the, the 3DS, so I have to choose between the phone or the 3DS being blurry. Let's open up Chrome, let's go to the website. My website, 3ds.console.guide. Here it is. Accept cookies. And let's do it sideways. So you can see it easily. There we go. Let's go to... This is the video we're doing. View links and downloads. So let's grab the boot file. Here's the boot file and assets. Boot.3dsx. Got it. Next step, uh, steel hacks. Let's grab the steel hacks binary file. There we go, got that. And then other app. Grab other app, enter the, the version information. So new uh, 9, no 11, 11.9 11 0, and I think it's 42. I'm pretty sure it's 42, I remember being 42. But I got a picture of it anyway, just in case. So. 11.9042E. That's my firmware version. So new means new or old 3DS. If you don't know which one you have, 
new 3DSs have this, it's called a C stick, old ones don't, so if you have this, new, if you don't, it's old. You've got the firmware version and the letter at the end. The letter is a region, so E is Europe, U is US, J Japan and K Korea, so grab the other app with that information. Have I got it? Let's try again. Okay, I already got it, got it. So back. Okay, we've got that. Save file will do that last, I think. Now it's BrutforceMovable.com. Now, BrutforceMovable.com is run by volunteers, of course, and generating the movable.ca takes some processing power on your server, so if you want to volunteer and become a, a volunteer and volunteer your processor power, I think it's graphics card actually, to process other people's files, go ahead and become a volunteer. There's um, instructions down here. So I'm going to hit continue. I've already volunteered a bit, so let's go to here. I'm going to enter the friend code, but the friend code, I'll have to get that after I do this. And the ID zero, I'll have to do that after as well. So we've got this ready for this to finish. This is the 3 ds it takes forever to download stuff, even a small game like Sub Wars. Okay, it's done. Let's grab the phone. Okay, let's open a uh, note. Here we are. The note will be the friend code, so let's grab the friend code. Well, let's do the let's follow the, the video in order. So, let's create the save data first. Save data launch. Okay. So all we want to do is create save data because if the game doesn't have save data, um, it can't be overwritten with the modified save data. I think that's how it works anyway. So, let's launch the game. Hit A and select the me. This is the save data we're creating. There we go, we've got a profile now. So back, home menu, and let's open up the friend, friend list now. Friend list, it will show me my friend code. There it is. Let's say the title so it's easier to see here. Title, enter the friend code. Okay, I've got the friend code. Let's enter that into the website, Brave Force Movable. So, let's copy it. Okay, cut instead. Okay. Throw it into friend code. Paste. Good. Now, ID zero. Okay. That's going to be harder to get because this 3DS has screws on the back, like I said. We're going to have to take them off to get the SD card. So let's power it off. There we go. Screwdriver, here it is. Unscrew. Wait, are they already off? Nope, oh, bump the microphone there. I think they're already off. Use the stylus to lift it up. Let's take this out first. There we go. Wasn't even screwed on. <laughs> Must have forgotten to take it off. Okay, so. Let's grab the SD card. There we go. Put it in the adapter. Now I could put this right into the phone because the phone has a micro SD card slot, but the fact is I'm too lazy to do that. This is much easier. Okay, let's plug it in. Okay, so let's unlock the phone. Okay, so my files, no, um, Nintendo 3DS and it's one of these so let's rename Nintendo 3DS so let's rename it let's call it uh, BU for backup there we go let's can I eject this or do I have to um how to do this I think I can just take it out okay so Let's put it back into the 3DS. There we go. Then simply turn it back on. It will create the home menu data. That's what we need. Home menu data and it'll give it the correct ID zero. You'll see that the theme's gone right now and stuff, but we'll get that back. Okay, it's creating your data. Just wait for it to finish. Then I can turn it off. So we've got the home menu data. This will, this will, um, Make a new folder with the correct ID zero on it. There we go. Remove the SD card. Come on. Okay, got it. 
let's fire it into here. Turn this over here actually. Okay, let's put it in there. Okay, so now we're gonna get the correct ID0 and USB storage. Um, there it is. This, is. this is the correct ID0. So I'm gonna grab this, rename, copy this. Oh, copy. Copy, there we go. And put it in Chrome. And here. Now, because I've already mined my uh, movable.scd file, I just have to enter. There's no crosswalks here. Let's get. Just a second. Because I've already they've already mined my file, they already have it. See, done. Didn't have to do those steps, so I've got it already. Let's grab it. Download to downloads. Okay, so now let's go to the website. My website. Let's go back. And we're gonna go to hold on. Let's go to a few links and downloads and it's save file so choose file um, files then we're going to go to download download um, yeah don't download here it is and I'm going to choose a save file which one is that Wait, what, what does it want it wants oh movable.scd of course of course I forgot about that there, so let's open up download, so let's grab the movable SD, upload it, region, Europe, and start. It'll grab my save file, it's downloaded it, there we go. Now that should be it for the website. So, now let's go to the downloads folder, downloads, let's rename this file rename to what do you call it um other app no it's payload pay load there we go still help installer let's uh, unzip this there we go let's open up steel hacks wait where does it extract it to i don't know where it extracted it to here it is, here it is. Okay, so let's open up Steel Hacks, delete put payload here, and let's move payload into that folder. So move to USB, no, to internal storage, download Steel Hacks installer, Steel Hacks, done. Right, now let's move, that should be there. Let's move all of this to the root of the SD card just now. So, copy actually. Copy to SD card. Done. Let's rename, let's delete this one, the new one, delete the new one. Rename the backup to Nintendo 3DS. I'm going to grab this save file. I'm going to move it to here, Nintendo 3DS, I'm going to go to here, here, title, this one, then 000 D7, D7, where is it, D7, no, there it is, D7, data, and that's it, so, move, replace, there we go. So I'm going to go to here, this is way easier on PC, <laughs> okay so now let's, I can delete me from the seed actually, I can delete that. Okay so that should be it, Steel Hacks installer, looks good, 3DS, Steel, yep looks okay. We have that Steel Hacks installer which doesn't actually do anything so we'll have to remove remove that later. Okay, so shouldn't need the phone anymore. We've got the SD card. Let's throw it in the 3DS and hopefully this works. Hopefully this, this speed run has gone well. Fire it up. I'll just use the S Pen. Where's the S Pen? Put it back in the phone. 
because the stylus is so small on the 3DS. Try not to get distracted here, open subwars. Come on. It should open homebrew. Error has a okay, hopefully this was a random crash and not a, a mistake I made. Oh, come on. Random crash, please be a random crash. Come on. Come on. R crashed again, have I made a mistake? I haven't made a mistake, have I? Oh no. I might have made a mistake, but I don't know what it is. Is it a mistake? Come on, let's... One last try. It doesn't crash three times in a row, does it? Okay. One last try. Hopefully the speedrun is worthwhile. Hopefully we won't have to do it again. Maybe I'll do another one next week. Or the week after that. Not too many speedruns in a row. Okay. I've made a mistake somewhere. Let's have a look at the, let's have a look at the SD card. I'll definitely do better next time. Let's have a look at the, the file. So put on the root. Why is that? What? That should be there. What? Oh, I know that I see the mistake. Oh, wow, that's so silly. That's so silly. <laughs> okay, cancel. I can't believe I made that mistake. I forgot to take these out of the folder. Oh, come on. That's not fair. <laughs> If this was longer than my actual video, I'll be upset. <laughs> There's no way this speedrun is faster than my actual video. There's no way. Was it 20 minutes long? I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, homebrew. Time! There we go. That and there you have it. My speedrun is 16 minutes and 7 seconds. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not too proud of that, actually. <laughs> if you want to see me do more speedruns like this, let me know in the comments, and I'll try and bump down my time. And if you did this speedrun, let me know in the comments, and on my Discord server. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.